Hey, it's Eric with Eric's Barbecue and More, and today we're doing smoked meatloaf on the Old Country Pecos. All right, so for the ingredients on this meatloaf, we've got one and a half pounds of ground beef and a half pound of sausage. Now, what we did here is we were only able to find 90% uh, ground beef. So we added the, uh, the sausage. Normally I would do an 80-20 of two pounds of ground beef, but you need that fat content. And um, when we're smoking this, all of that fat is gonna be dripping out. So it can dry it out if you don't have a lot of, uh, have some fat in your ground beef. So a little bit of an experiment on this, but it should be delicious anyway. We've got a cup of crushed crackers, and this can also be breadcrumbs. Your choice on that. Two eggs, a half a cup diced onions, uh, which we sauteed in olive oil, uh, just to soften them up a little bit. In the smoker, you're not gonna be cooking as nearly as high heat as you do in the oven, so it, it gets they, they're a little bit more crunchy when you smoke them. We got, we got a quarter cup of ketchup, one teaspoon of oregano, eighth teaspoon garlic powder, half a teaspoon of parsley, and then just a dash of paprika. And then um, we're gonna top all of that with your favorite barbecue sauce at the end, but I'll show you that later. Okay, as you can see, I've got triplets here. This is the one we just made. These two my wife made earlier. So I made the mistake when I did the test run on this uh, meat, smoked meatloaf. We ran out like immediately and they didn't have any leftovers. So I'm making sure I'm covered this time and I figure if we get sick of it, we'll freeze it. And just so you know, the ingredients I mentioned earlier only makes one. We got three this time. All right, so I'm just gonna show my setup here. We've got the water box down here, that's full of water. We're gonna run the pit at about 275. If you got a dial up pit, set it to 275. <clears throat> if you got a stick burner like me, you run between 250 and 300 and you're in good shape. So we're gonna cook this until the internal temp is 160. We're gonna check it every now and then, uh, see if it's drying out or anything like that, and I'll bring you back for that. All right, so it's been almost an hour and, I don't know, hour and 40 minutes, two hours, so we're gonna check the meat. Oh, baby. Look at that. Damn, actually, these are... These are the front are done.
back one's close. This, these are done. I need to get some barbecue sauce on them. Guess they cook faster than I thought. Alright, so I wasn't expecting those to get done so fast. But I'm going to go ahead and put the old Sweet Baby Ray's on there. Still looks pretty moist, so I don't think it's a problem, but the one we did last time it was over two hours, I know that much. So I should have checked it at the one hour mark, but we'll see. Still looks good. You want to coat liberally. So obviously more heat in this area here, so uh, these two are done. This one is about 10 degrees left to go still, so we're going to pull these off and leave this one on. And I'm going to try to just pull it off with the glove. Mm, maybe just back it. All right, so we got that smoked meatloaf done. We got it all sliced up, now it's time to eat. Today on Eric's Barbecue and More, we've got my very first taste tester that's gonna be on camera. This is my nephew, Cameron. Cameron, <laughs> say hi to the community, Hello. barbecue community. I've had a lot of his stuff before and they've always been great. Never have you, had his meatloaf though. Have you ever had smoked meatloaf before? Have you ever I've had regular? I've never had smoked meatloaf, I've had regular. a nice little bite there. Yeah. You can definitely taste the smoke. Yeah? Yeah. How do you think it compares to other meatloaf? I really like the smoky aspect of it. Yeah? It's drier, I think, than regular meatloaf, but it's good. Yeah, I think the dryness, <laughs> let's talk about the dryness. Because we got the 90% meat, I know that's why this is a little bit dry. Um, also, uh, the first two that I pulled off, and this was one of the first two, uh, I got it way over the 260 mark or 160 mark I was looking for. 
uh, I got it up to 175 and almost 200 in some spots so obviously needed to pull it earlier <clears throat> the funny thing is the other meatloaf that I had um, took another an additional 30 minutes to finish and it was packed a little bit uh, larger so be careful on the size of your meatloafs that you make um, try to make them all consistent so they pull at the same time and check them on the hour mark not on the two hour mark like I did I don't know what I was thinking but. all right guys so this is the one that I just pulled off it took the longest you can th see it's shorter and thicker uh, than the first one that we did so I'd say a learning here is Make sure your loafs are the same size. Maybe use an actual loaf pan to form them this so they're all the same size. This ain't your mom's meatloaf. This is smoked meatloaf. I highly recommend it. You guys should do it. I can't stop eating it. Let's remind everybody what we did today. We kept our pit temp around 250 to 300. I cooked mine more at around the 300 range. It took about two hours. Uh, I would say you want to definitely check it at the hour mark versus uh, like I did and checked it at the two hour mark or hour and 45 minutes. Um, I think I, I uh, went a little past the 160 I was shooting for. The third loaf that I haven't cut into yet um, hopefully will be a little bit better because uh, I did pull that right at, at 160. So anyway, this is Eric with Eric's Barbecue and More. Y'all have a good day.